In this video, we'll be looking at factorising quadratic expressions using the window method. Here, I have an expression involving a quadratic term x squared, and I want to factorise it into two brackets. We have already looked at expanding double brackets to give a quadratic expression, and now we want to do the reverse. So first, I'm going to draw my window. In the top left-hand corner, I'm going to write x squared, and in the bottom right hand corner I'm going to write plus 2. So I already can write down the two terms on the top and the side of x, they multiply to give x squared. But what terms am I going to put here? I need them to multiply together to give plus 2. So we can see that the terms on the top and bottom need to multiply to give plus 2. But when I add them together, they need to give minus 3. As when I collect all of the terms, they need to add together to give minus 3x. So at the side, I'm going to draw this table and I'm going to write plus 2 above it. And I'm going to now think of all the numbers that I can multiply together to give plus 2. So the first two, I can multiply plus 2 and plus 1. They will give me plus 2 when I multiply them. But what happens when I add them? They give me plus 3. So these are not the correct combination of numbers to put in the circles. Next, I can try minus 2 and minus 1. When I multiply those numbers together, I do indeed get plus 2. And when I add them, I get minus 3. So these are the correct combination of numbers to write inside the circles. So let's do that. Minus 2 and minus 1. Let's check I get the correct answer when I follow through with this multiplication. So I get minus 2x in this box and I get minus x in this box. And if I was to collect all of those terms, I would indeed get my original expression minus 2x and minus x, they add together to give minus 3x. So my final part of this is to write my answer. So the first bracket is going to be x minus 2. Those are the two terms above my window. The next bracket is x minus 1. Those are the two terms at the side of my window. And so I have finished factorising the original expression into two brackets. Let's look at another example. Here is my quadratic expression. Once again, I'm going to draw my window and in the top left hand corner, I'm going to write x squared and in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to write minus eight. I can write in x and x here because they both multiply to give me x squared. But once again, I do not know what numbers to put here. I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 8, and, but when I add them, I need to get positive 2. So I'm going to draw my table here, and I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to give me minus 8. Let's try minus 8 and plus 1. They do indeed multiply to give minus 8, but when I add them, I get minus 7. So let's keep looking. 8 and minus 1. That gives me positive 7, so we still need to keep searching. Minus 4 and plus 2, that gives me minus 2, so we need to try again. Plus 4 and minus 2, they give me minus 8 when I multiply them, and when I add them, I get plus 2. So I have found my combination of numbers. It's plus 4 and minus 2. So let's write them in to my... Um, missing numbers here. So let's fill in the rest of my window. Plus 4x and minus 2x. Let me check that when I collect all of my terms, I do indeed get the original expression. And I do. If I add 4x and minus 2x, I do get plus 2x. So what I have left to do is write my final answer. In the first bracket is x plus 4. Those are my two terms from above the window. And in my second bracket, I have x minus 2. Those are the two terms along the left-hand side of my window.
And so I have factorized my expression.